हेलो गाइज हाउ आर यू ऑल आई थिंक यू ऑल आर फाइन इन होम सो प्लीज स्टे एट होम इट्स नाइस टू सी यू आफ्टर ए लॉन्ग टाइम सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ए फंडामेंटल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ गॉस लॉ सो आई विल गिव सम आइडिया अबाउट गॉस लॉ सो व्हाट इज गॉस लॉ स्टेटमेंट सो गॉस लॉ स्टेट दैट दैट द सरफेस इंटीग्रल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ओवर ए क्लोज सरफेस इज इक्वल टू वन बाई एफ साइन ऑल जीरो टाइम्स द एनक्लोज चार्ज द टोटल चार्ज एनक्लोज बाय दैट सरफेस सो बेसिकली वी कैन वी कैन फाइंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड बाई यूजिंग गॉस लॉ दैट इज द इंटेंशन दैट इलेक्ट्रिक फाइंड आउट द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज अवर इंटेंशन सो हाउ कैन यू फाइंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड देयर सो I we will uh, imagine a surface there, okay? That surface known as Gaussian surface. So that is the advantages of Gauss law. That we can imagine a surface because the Gauss law is all about the closed surface, okay? Whenever we are calculating the electric field of a due to a charge, due to a point charge, we have to consider it. It the charge must be enclosed by some surface if not then we have to consider a imaginary surface around the charge and this imaginary surface is known as gaussian surface it may be a sphere it may be a cylinder it may be a uh, any uh, like pill box okay so according to questions we will imagine the surface then we will calculate the electric field so let's do it so guys this is the question this is the first application of gauss law so the question is find the electric field outside a uniformly charged solid sphere of radius r and total charge q so i i already told the intention of gauss law is find out the electric field आउटसाइड ए यूनिफॉर्मली चार्ज सॉलिड स्पीयर हाँ अनादर अनादर थिंग इज इफ द चार्ज इज नॉट यूनिफॉर्म यू कैन नॉट अप्लाय गज थियोरम ओके सो द चार्ज इज यूनिफॉर्म मस्ट बी यूनिफॉर्म ओवर दैट स्पीयर ओवर दैट सरफेस्ड सो द आवर क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड outside a uniform charge solid sphere of radius r capital r so this is a solid sphere so in 2d um, i draw the, this uh, uh, surface this solid sphere so um, so the first first thing is whenever we are calculating electric field we have to consider the charge must be enclosed by a surface but but there is the question is outside the solid sphere so whenever if i consider the charge q here it is the outside of outside the of the solid sphere so i consider charge at outside so my question is where is the charge enclosed the charge is not at all enclosed so i have to consider a imaginary surface so i will consider another sphere here okay this is my imaginary sphere so my diagram is not good but uh, i am trying so this is the imaginary sphere of small radius r so what is the mathematically representation of gauss law we know the surface integral of electric field of a closed surface is equal to 1 by epsilon all 0 times total charge q enclosed so by that surface 
total charge is Q. So I can write Q enclosed. Oh, sorry, I can write small Q instead of Q enclosed because total charge Q enclosed is equal to Q. That's it is it is given by the question. Okay, so I can write it is as Q by small Q by epsilon all zero. Give the equation number one. So it is E dot d a is equal to Q by epsilon all zero. Okay, so this is the sphere. This is my imaginary sphere. Okay. So this is my imaginary sphere, okay. And the electric field is radially outward, okay. It's every time the electric field is radially outward, and the area element also in the same direction. So I can write this. This is a dot product, right? So I can write the dot product E magnitude into d a magnitude into cos theta okay so i know electric field and area element in the same direction that means theta is equal to zero so i can write e dot d a into cos zero okay cos zero degree so cos zero degree is one so i can write e dot d a so this is the equation number two so i can write the uh, e dot instead of e dot, uh, e dot d a i can write e d a so this is e d a is equal to q by epsilon all zero okay so as i know the electric field is uniform the electric field is same over a closed surface so i can take Uh, electric i can take the electric field outside this is my da is equal to q by epsilon all zero so what is my area the imaginary surface i already consider this imaginary surface so the area of the that imaginary gaussian surface that imaginary surface is known as gaussian surface by uh, gauss so The area of the surface area of the that imaginary Gaussian surface is equal to four pi r square because it is small r. Okay, so I can write four pi r square instead of this integral. So e into four pi r square is equal to q by epsilon all zero. So what is my electric field? One by four pi epsilon all zero into q by r square. This is the my magnitude of electric field. So I find the electric field outside uh, a uniform charge solid sphere. So this is my first application of Gauss law. Okay, solid sphere is the first application of Gauss law. So this is my answer. If you are if you are writing in a vector format, then you can write you can write the electric field vector is equal to one by four pi epsilon all zero into q by separation vector. Whenever you are considering the r here, it is a separation vector. So you can write r square and here. R cap, so it is in my vector format. So this is also my answer in vector format. So this is all about my first application of Gauss law, and this is about solid sphere. Okay, so thank you.